You have the new X1 desktop app installed and want to set your preferences, but it's set up a little different than what you're used to. Not to worry, we are here to help you transition to the new X1 desktop. This is the third video of four focusing on the differences between Xactimate 28 and X1. Our goal is to prepare you to confidently and effectively use the new desktop version of Xactimate X1. With the new X1 desktop, all of your 28 preferences have been streamlined, enabling you to be more efficient as you manage and complete projects. In this video, we're going to walk through setting your X1 preferences. Once you've logged into X1, click on the Preferences tab in the Control Center. Here you will find General, Project, Pricing, Sketch, and Third-Party tabs. Although the layout looks very different, the functionality is mostly the same. Let's take a look at the preferences within each of these tabs. In the General tab, you're able to update your user signature, adjust how projects are listed on your local projects page, set how often you want the system to auto-save your projects, and the quality of images when added to reports. In the Project Window field, you have the option of opening projects in full screen view. Next is the Project tab. In this example, we're using the Carrier Profile. If you ever need to adjust the profile setting, click the dropdown and select the appropriate profile. The Personnel setting, which was the Contact Manager tab in Xactimate 28, allows you to add claim reps, contractors, and references simply by clicking the drop down list to view, add, edit, or delete entries. The report section, which was the document modules tab in Xactimate 28, is where you can set headers and add or edit your opening and closing statements. You can also set your default options in the administrative, loss, line number, and tag settings. Let's check out the pricing tab and how to request a price list. In Xactimate 28, the price list and pricing defaults were in two separate areas. Now, in the new X1 desktop, you can locate them all in one place. Here you can request price list and set defaults for depreciation, overhead and profit, calculation options, and additional charges. To set a price list, click on the drop-down list and you will see price lists you have previously downloaded. If you want to request a new price list, click on Request Price List, search by location or name, set your date and profile, and click Download. Once your price list has been successfully downloaded, highlight it and click Done. You can also request, change, or use supplemental price list in the Parameters tab once you are working in a claim by using these same steps. For Sketch, you have subtabs for View and Edit, Placement, and Calculations. In Xactimate 28, these settings were found in the Sketch Preferences. View and Edit are where you can adjust handle size, set the roof and elevation levels, and your Sketch View defaults. Placement is where the room, window, door, and staircase defaults can be set. Here in Calculations, you can set the flooring, reference blocks, and wall opening defaults. Your third-party tools are the same as in Xactimate 28 and can be found here in the Preferences tab. And that's the Preferences tab in Xactimate X1. If you have additional questions, please check out our eService Center. You can find the link below in the description. Fill out the survey below to let us know if there's anything you'd like to learn more about. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more expert tips each week.